welcome you to my channel. This is your girl, Danny Blue. If this is your first time seeing my face, I am a lifestyle, fitness, natural hair, and all things beauty and fashion blogger. Welcome. If this is your first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and make sure that you hit that little bell next to it so you'll be notified the next time I drop a new video. If this ain't your first time, yes, I said ain't. Thank you for coming back again and I so, so, so much appreciate you and I hope you come back again and support your girl for some more videos in the future. Now, with that said, um, this is a requested video. I was asked to do one about face primers for oily skin and those of you who've been around for a while, you know that I have combo oily skin and most of the primers I buy are just for that because baby, when I tell you in the winter time, I can get away with it like with some of my primers, but in the summer, the spring, oh no, 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 no. It's, it's a mess all up in here. And if you don't take care of that, you're going to be blotting. You're going to be all up in the bathroom. You're going to be looking greasy. Your picture's going to be looking a mess. Yes. So let's make sure we all know what's going on so we can make sure that our face stays snatched the whole day. All right, so I have my top five primers for oily skin girls, and I'm going in no particular order, but I will, um, I do have some high end and some low end just to give you options if that is something that you need to worry about. The first one I have is the Professional by Benefit, and this is a, you're like, why is it so little? This is a sample size. I keep getting the sample size because I just refuse to pay for Benefit's products. That's just what it is. Long story, that's for another video. But I really do like this because it does keep away all that oil. Um, it's a brownish, tintish product. And I'll show you what it looks like. So it's not white like most primers are, but it does blend out very clear and it leaves your skin very, very soft. It has a nice consistency to where you can feel like, oh, it's real, like your skin is really soft. So when you're putting this on your face, your face is gonna feel like there's nothing there. Like it's all even, there's no texture, there's no anything going on. Now, when I say this stuff keeps you matte, I use this around my smile lines. I use this in my T-zone and it keeps my face matte. This is one of the best, best, best primers I've ever used. I don't like, again, like I said, I refuse to buy Benefit products. So that's why I refuse to pay for the full size. But this is one of those primers that will make sure you keep those, if that is a problem area for you, and I'm specifically speaking about that because that's where I have most of my oil, it will keep your face matte for a good, I wanna say six to eight hours at least before you might need to even look at your face again. But it gives you a really good length of time to keep your face together. The next product I have is a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this is a gel-based primer. It does the same, the funny thing is, it does the same thing as the Professional. Um, it comes out It comes out clear, as you can see, and then you just smooth it around on your face wherever you need to concentrate the primer. Now again, sometimes, because I have combination skin, I will use different primers for different stuff. So for this one, I actually use it all over my face because it just gives me a whole blank canvas and I'm able to actually not worry about spotting because I know this baby right here got me snatched almost the whole day. Like, no joke. Like, I don't know if you sweat more than I do, but I sweat really bad around my smile lines and my T-zone. That's most of the time where I'm going to look greasy whenever I'm taking pictures if I don't wear this one. This one is the one I will use all over my face versus the professional. I concentrate it just right there because it does a good job keeping all the sweat away in that area. But again, benefit benefit smashbox also has another one that they came out with that um it's photo finish but it's like a um pore minimizer it's the purple one that one is bomb too it does this same thing except for it works a little bit better for those who have pores now i don't have issues with pores so that's not that's why i don't buy that one i got some samples and i used it and it was pretty cool but i realized this one works best for me and this one is about 16 bucks i'm gonna try to put all the prices down below so you'll know what they cost now 
if you cannot afford the Smashbox, this one that I'm about to show you is a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So if you're a person that has like uh, issues with not only sweat and you also have pores that are huge, this does the same thing. And it's also a clear based gel and I'll put some on so you can see and you rub it out the same way and it still looks clear and again it gives you that blank canvas so you are able to have a face that's going to be ready and prepped for your foundation now again this this is a drugstore product but it works almost just as good as that smashbox and this is I think I want to I know this is under $10. I know it's under $10. Now again, if you don't want to pay all that money for the Smashbox um photo fin photo finish foundation primer, this is like the next best thing to that. It does pretty much the same thing. Is it going to give you 10 to 12 hour hold? No. I mean, well, depending on your skin needs and you know what I'm saying, how your makeup works with this primer then who knows but for me this has never given me 10 to 12 hour hold it's given me a good six maybe seven ish hours but it's not going to give me that almost a full day worth of wear but you will get a long time before you've got to worry about your makeup using this primer yo 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 this is my a1 since day one and this is the rimmel stay matte primer this was the first primer I used. I fell in love with it and I have been using this constantly. It stays in rotation. I buy this and I, re I have a backup of this. That's how much I love this. It's a cream. Now this one is a cream. I don't really like that many creams because at first I started off with creams because I didn't like the greasy feel like the Smashbox and the, um, the Maybelline Baby Skin. I did not think I would like them because they look greasy, but they're not. This is cream and it's a white cream, but it blends out. Like, see, I'm trying to get some out. I didn't use so much of it. Okay. And then you blend it out and it melts right into your skin as well. So again, this is something that if you're trying to, um, what is the word? If you're trying to control that shine, you're trying to stay matte. If you are a sweat box, this is one of those that either you can put all over the face or you can use this one as a spot treatment as well. Because I know a lot of people have combo skin like I do. Now this one, it depends on the time of the year. It depends on how I want my makeup to look. This one I can spot or I can put it all over my face. Whichever way I use it, I always have a flawless looking foundation bomb now if you're a person that's like eh, i don't really do drugstore you know i'm more of a high end i got you too so if you're looking for the same things that the rimmel stay matte primer does like that shine control oil control um elongate the length of your foundation this is the hourglass mineral veil foundation primer and it does the exact same thing it's a cream based uh, I'm gonna go give y'all a little but I got too much but it's cool because I do this for y'all and again this one goes on as a cream but look let me show you the difference y'all see that little white ash so this one leaves a slight ashy look behind it like you can see a film is over your skin like you can see that white, like a little ghostly looking thing, but it does not show up through your foundation. You do not have to worry about that. Um, it does not have a real smell to it because anybody that knows me knows that I hate, hate, hate smells on my face. So if you're looking for a high end primer that's going to keep you matte, that's going to have your foundation staying in place this is it as well it's a little bit pricey this little bottle right here is 19 dollars, but it works really really well all right so i hope you've enjoyed my video i've given you some information about the best five primers that i use for my oil to control my combination um oily skin um 
all of them work really really good but out of the five i would have to say uh if i had if i had to be on a desert island and i could only pick one it's gonna be the Remo. And it's not because it's affordable. Yes, it's affordable, but this stuff has came through for me for so long. It's like I can't stay away from it. Now, a runner-up would be the Smashbox because it's one of those um, gel-based primers, but it doesn't feel like a gel. It doesn't have that greasy feel, and that's why I used to gravitate towards the cream base. But this gel base, baby, when I'm telling you, it will keep your face snatched. It will keep you snatched and dry. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure as we come upon these warmer seasons, you making sure you buy those foundations that's going to keep all those areas on your face matte so your face can stay looking snatched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.